pain right now. I fell on, I went down a step, and it's wet. My knee completely bent back, and I can't even walk, I can't move. So they brought me here to the hospital by ambulance from the ER right now. John, I'm getting ready to take an x ray, but it's the worst pain ever. They didn't give me any pain medicine, nothing. And it's probably been at least an hour since it's happened. At least. I had to literally get up to get on the gurney and just screaming in pain. So I couldn't even stand up, you know. And they're like, you know, we're going to leave you here on the sidewalk. It's not been a good experience. Whole body's shaking. Oh, yeah, guys, so that's what's going on. So hopefully they'll get at least taken care of soon. We're going to get an x ray shortly and see what's going on. So hoping and praying for a good outcome. I mean, I saw her go down and it was not pretty and it was. It I could taught. see that she was in excruciating pain. Lisa is very pain tolerant, so the fact that she was like screaming and writhing in pain, I knew it was serious. I couldn't put any weight on it. And she couldn't put any weight on it. So we're gonna we're gonna keep you guys updated, all right? So I just got back from X-ray, and of course it's hurting worse because they had to move my leg around. And it's probably been close to two hours. I've been in this kind of pain. Um, I mean, the X-ray tech's like surprised they didn't give me anything for pain yet. She's like, really? This, you know. So I mean, you're shaking. You're in shock. Hair, still like from shaking. Pain. My body's in complete pain shock, and I can't move my leg. It's so locked up. It's like I can't even twist my body at all. It just it hurts so bad. It's like the worst pain ever. Oh, so I'm hoping they Jen asked the nurse to come like 15 minutes ago. She said they'd be right here, but we're still waiting. No doctor. All right, guys, so we'll keep you posted, you know, as things progress, and hopefully we'll find out very soon what the x-ray is indicating, and we'll let you know. So here's where the break is, right here. That's pretty nasty. So here it is here. You can see where the bone's pretty much split. Wow. All right, so let's update everyone to what's going on. So I finally got pain medicine in the IV. I just put that in maybe 10 minutes ago. It's like a morphine medication and it's been about 20 minutes. It's still hurting. That's how bad it is. And I, the orthopedic doctor called and I actually got to talk to him on the phone. That was very nice. So the diagnosis treatment plan is basically surgery tomorrow. He said the femur needs to be what they call fixed versus just cast it's so bad so it probably involves like a plate and screws things like that to put it back together a lot going on on that leg so just sitting here praying to get through this and the other problem is i'll be uh, six weeks off my leg which means not working so we're gonna have to work something out with that so just every level we're praying for help here um, keep you updated so tonight is I'm gonna have to get admitted to the hospital basically and be on pain medicine. Medicine. Yeah. So, still here. The morphine worked for maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes for pain and wore off. So they just gave me another injection of, um, I think it's called Torto or something, it's pain medicine. They said it's really good, so that's my fingers, that'll get to it. And then they're going to give me some Valium for muscle, to relax the muscles. Oh, so here we are. Just really just trying to get the pain under control is the goal right now. Oh, it is excruciating. I can tell by looking at you that you're in excruciating pain. Um, I, I feel for move. you. It's awful. No fun getting mm. injured. Breaking. Socks. Suck. All right, you guys. I think we finally found the magical combination Ooh. for lease. It's all about the combo. So Valium was. I just she just gave me the Valium, and automatically my arms, my head. Quite to my leg, it's getting there. I'm definitely feeling more um, relaxed. You feeling much, much here? Really much, much here. You're welcome. Oh, 
it's crazy that uh, the alien is acting stronger than the morphine. <laughs> uh. This is the best I've seen her all day. It's making me smile because she's uh, feeling pretty good right now, so that's good. I'm happy to see it. Do. I'm just keep praying that we'll get the right mixture. Get through this. You got this. Well, my, this feels better. My heart. Everything else. It's circling around the leg, I guess. Mm. I think I could put that right near a leg and that would work. I don't know, right? Look who came to visit. It's our third raptor over here. The Valium is working. It's still hurting, but that's the best of relief I've gotten all day. We're going to keep you guys updated. They're supposed to be admitting her soon. As soon as they get a room, it opens up. So we'll show you guys when she gets to her new exciting accommodations. Mm. I'm sure it's not like Rehoboth Beach. I'm sure it's not. Uh, but we'll be sure to do a review. I bet they don't have a, a spa pool in that room. Oh my gosh. I told her at least we got to do that this past weekend. She can think about yeah. that. It's going to get her through all of the, uh -huh. the horrible know. moments. Yeah. Just remember, it's going to get better soon. Uh, that's, what the, that's what the nurse said. She said, get up there. Here's the annoying me pushing. You're going to have to turn that button. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's me. 35. I have a shift change. The pain is too real. I'm trying to make my brain not think of it, but it's so bad. You can't not think of it. There's no shutting that brain off. It's not shutting it off. What's going on guys? So Lisa's all moved into her room upstairs and they got her moved up here probably around 10 o'clock last night, 10.30. Actually, it's probably 10.30. And then they got her admitted, all the, you know, all the fun people that you have to fool with to do that. And after the doctor came in and several nurses and, you know, they had to check her pain levels and stuff like that because she's been in a lot of pain. I mean, at least she wasn't screaming in pain, which was a huge improvement from mm. yesterday. So uh, she's headed in for surgery. So let me just show you her room real quick and then I'm gonna show you the woman of the hour. All right, so there's my bed right there. There's one of those old people chairs. Yeah. Two regular chairs there. Here are, there's the little, you know, table thing. There's my laptop so I can edit. More exciting adventures coming soon. And here she is. My little raptor. Hey <sighs> Is there anything you would like to tell your audience before you go in for surgery? I've never had too many pain medicines in my life because this pain was, I never had this much pain in my life. So they took care of, <clears throat> my throat's really dry. Yeah. They took care of me. Oh, she hasn't had any water since uh, midnight last mm -hmm. night or food. We had an IV of uh, fluids. Let's see mm -hmm. these IVs now. Well, they just took out fluids. Oh, okay. Yeah, she had a she had an IV here, mm -hmm. and that one kept getting busted because she likes to talk with her hands, so that wasn't mm -hmm. a good place for that. Just in trouble with that and then one. she had I, uh, blood drawn here and blood test here. a blood draw there. So they pin cushion. Yeah, she's a pin cushion certified. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna show you her leg, what it looks like now. You can't really tell. So here is the knee, right here, and it's broken, probably up to here. I guess, right? Is that where it feels? I think it's yeah, like. So, but I just wanted to get a video because I know later it's going to be, you know, there's going to be probably staples and they have her, they have her, they have her tied to the bed here. She's trapped in this contraption. Just kidding. <laughs> no, they're, they're just pumping up her feet so that she gets circulation. So that's her, that's her situation. And we're going to keep you guys posted. Hopefully I can get a little bit of her going into the OR. We'll see how, we'll see how stingy they are here if they let me do it or not. But let's give her a kiss real quick. Let me kiss. She's going to do just fine. Just She's wanna, a tough one. I just hope they knock me out. <laughs> and I wake up and I'm like, okay, you're good. You're going to be good. 
I know it. God got you. Know. Got a lot of people praying for you, so. It's gonna be okay. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And we'll keep you updated as things progress. So it's only a couple minutes left until nine, which means they're gonna be coming in to get her for surgery soon. And she's gonna do so great. She's got so many people pulling for her and praying for her and sending positive vibes right now. Oh, she is gonna be fine. Praying for me. You're, like you're very, very well loved. 30 or 40 Facebook uh, prayer people. You got those prayer warriors working prayer warriors. overtime. Yeah. Tell you what. I like it there better the way she did this. Yeah, you yeah. don't bump it. Forearm, yeah, and the crook of the arm, it yeah. messes up and it's painful. So Lisa's just getting her pre-op medications mm -hmm. via IV. Maybe I'll sleep for three days after this. <laughs> I don't need to get yeah, up and hopefully, up. but oh. at least she'll be more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I mean, I know it's going to still hurt, but put it back together. The old Humpty Dumpty story. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get you ready for more adventures. Got this. Little bionics never hurt. I'm glad to see you finally relaxed enough that you can sleep. Gosh, yesterday was horrible. Oh, no. You're gonna be feeling good when you get back. Oh god, that's what I'm looking for. She's gonna do fine. Yeah, she's gonna be great. All right. There she is going into the elevator for her surgery. <laughs> huh? Oops. The elevator shutting. Okay guys, so Lisa is out of surgery and her bed is going to be parked here in just a couple minutes. We're waiting on her to come up. Where are you up here? Yeah, they were up here. We were in the waiting room, Downstairs. the surgery area. What was it, two hours? No. Three hours? Three. I mean, you were in recovery for an hour. Really? Yeah. I just woke up. Did you? Because he said you were in and out. I woke up a little bit worried. You didn't freak out, did you? Mm -mm. I just went down there. You don't remember anything? Just going in the OR. Do you remember counting backwards? Nope. They put me on that um, table, I guess. And the big lights. Mm -hmm. That's it. They lift you up and they put you on there and they I said count remember. backwards? Yeah, you know what? He drugged me, so. Oh, right. I didn't have to stress about switching tables. Oh, that's probably what happened. Yeah, see, they all just yelled at So you didn't feel any pain getting on the table. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. He's like, it's different upstairs. We take care of it down here. She did it. I can tell the handwriting. She's back from the surgery. Yeah. Aww. 
Oh. Because of bear with a bandage. Oh my gosh, that's so you. I have to put them up here so I can look. Let's see what we have here. Ready? Ooh, is that streaming? <laughs> <laughs> I think they got the wrong room. Is it streaming? Yeah. It is. They brought that? Yeah. What's that? Rice? Turkey and mashed potatoes with gravy. Hey, adventurers. Our patient's doing so much better. So, she's getting ready to enjoy her dinner. I want you guys to just check out what she got from the cafeteria. I'm still a little groggy, <laughs> but I'm also hungry. So that's good, that's a good sign. So we're gonna give this a meal a try. So, I'm impressed they said everything so, uh, is fresh made, fresh cut fruit. So I got, uh, I'll give you a description here. Go ahead and cut into that. Meatloaf, broccoli, baked potato, Fresh cut, uh, looks like cantaloupe, melon, pineapple. There's a grape in there too. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's lemon good. meringue pie and ginger ale. Like, I think mm -hmm. I would equate it with good diner food. Yeah, diner. Like, yeah. diner food. That's pretty right. much what it's like. It's yeah, it's good. I yeah, thought I was going to have hot. to do airplane with her. <laughs> <laughs> To get her to I'm eat her. I'm sure my broccoli was junk. She is a good broccoli eater. Okay, guys. Cheers. Mmm. It's a spot. <sighs> it was so bad. She was seriously writhing in pain. And Lisa's tough. Like, she can take some serious pain. So, when she's writhing like mm -hmm. that, I know. I'm, I'm, I don't know that I've ever seen you in pa that much pain before. That much. Ever. Ever. <laughs> I don't know what this top is doing. <laughs> I tied it. Alright. Still working it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a slow eater tonight. <laughs> slow food. Why are you laughing at? Everything. <laughs> it's the it's the um designer gown I know. Though a deer. Your pet dear, what will we name her? <laughs> Did you really fall asleep yes. just now? Really? Yes. Is it like narcolepsy or something? This is one day post op. And yesterday I was. It's actually Mother's Day. Heading to surgery yesterday this time. Yeah, this is actually Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day, Lise. For Mother's Day, you get a very nice French toast breakfast. They get breakfast served, that's true. With bacon. French toast, syrup, bacon. What's this? Corn. Um, oatmeal. Oatmeal. Brown sugar oatmeal. Oh, well, right. the oatmeal's in here, I think you just said. Oh, I see. I see. Have reasons, okay, I see. so the oatmeal in there. Fruit. Fruit cup. Milk. She got her milk. Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. All right. There you go. So that looks delicious for Mother's Day. Over here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that looks delicious. just gave me some penis. <laughs> that looks delicious for Mother's mm -hmm. Day. So my pain... So how are the pain levels today? Like Today they're creeping back. Um, okay. Because I was having trouble maneuvering. Yesterday you were at maybe like an 8 was yes. average? If I may, Well, yesterday it went way down because it was supposed to... I think the anesthetic from the surgery was yeah. holding that. But now it's coming back. Okay. So, let's see. So they have me on... Morphine and Valium for muscle spasms. You know the medications are working when she's talking to you and okay. she's nodding off. That's I'm a good sign. Sleeping at the same time. That is good. But just don't do that while you're eating because that could be dangerous that. potentially. Oh. So guys, I just woke up. <laughs> it is quarter to nine. Yesterday I was up at like, I don't know, off and on. Like we were up seriously probably every hour last, not, not this past night, the night before when she first got checked in before surgery. Mm -hmm. um, they had to do a lot of tests and, you know, keep giving her medication because she was in excruciating, excruciating pain. And we're trying to just stay, you know, ahead of the pain now because I know that the anesthetic is probably mostly worn off now. I mean, it stays in your body for a couple of days. It's got a pretty, you know, I mean, it, it gets out of your body pretty quickly, but considering the amount that they give you, but you know, it's, the pain's gonna creep back in. So we're trying to stay ahead of it. Lisa has a really high pain tolerance, which is great. But the problem with that is she doesn't say anything until it gets really mm -hmm. bad. So I have to keep asking her, how's your pain? How's mm -hmm. your pain? Doing okay. And because she is, you know, on a lot of 
medication. So, kind of forget. but you know, you kind of forget until it gets so out of control, and you don't want it to get to that point because if it does, then you basically have to give so much more to even just catch up with the pain level. So, they had initially said three days, so I don't know if they'll release for Monday or Tuesday. But today's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I know this is going to be, you know, post Mother's Day, but. <laughs> Yeah, happy Mother's Day, guys. So, we'll check back in with you a little bit later. Got a bunch of people we're going to be talking to today in here, so we'll keep you posted. Dun, 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 dun. Now, this is a tool. What is it called? What do you have to <laughs> After you have surgery, you have a harvest of getting pneumonia because you're sitting still. Fluids build up. Tubes down your throat. Yeah, I've had tubes in my throat during surgery, so. You get a lot of this mucus build up. So, <clears throat> what this does is it helps rid of that here. You can do it. You're going to make it to the top. <coughs> uh oh. <laughs> that's the effect it has. But that's good. It gets things moving. It falls, gets the mucus in it. Oh, okay. There it is. And it does ease up after several times. Good job. <coughs> Alright guys, we're getting her up for the very first time since she's had her surgery. Well, so I guess you are allowed to bend and straighten as uh, able? Yeah. Maybe it takes a while to... It is Mother's Day. You can I get mean, mom tattooed on your butt. Stretched out. <laughs> I've been straight for so long. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, initially when I came in and I was on my side with it angled, and then it was a big deal to get it straight Street. flat. I can't wait to see what it looks like underneath of that. Oh, I saw some yellow there, but I don't know. Um, that's your betadine. Okay. So that's, it's like you got a free spray tan on one leg. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, okay, so like I said, when we're up, you're not allowed to really put a lot of weight through it. No. So you're gonna lean over your right leg to stand up. Okay, okay. okay? and like I said, you can, you can rest your toe. Okay, and then we'll, it's almost like we're I'm hopping. see if I can even just bend it here from the bed. Uh-huh. Just don't fall forward. I'm just holding one. Just the pain is going to be my trick. But if it's all like stabilized, you know. But you just cannot put your weight on it though. Right. Chair. Like yeah. right. See how you feel standing. Vertical. Sometimes it's easier if you push up on the bed. With yeah, that's right what I'm hand. thinking. Yeah, because you're going to lean that way anyway. Got a little more foot off. Mm-hmm. Just like, it's just depends on the strength. Yep, uh, right, right. it's tricky. Lean forward, you got it. There you go. Yeah. See if we can get that other hand on the walker. No, you're not pressing on your leg, are you? No, it's just, it's just touching. Just the natural I weight feel, of the leg. I feel the right leg. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as moving, that's a whole other. You need to make sure your weight's on that other leg. Can you lift this up off the floor or so slide it just so I can see? Okay, good. Yep, yep. All and right. then what do you do? Hop? Wiggle. You can do the little wiggle worm, or you can hop. But usually, wiggling is the easiest first time. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Hop. Little, little hop. hop. Yeah. Just take your time. I should have got you a stuffed rabbit instead of a deer. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, because I thought it was a kangaroo. Or... Oh right. Okay. We'll just hang on to that. Okay. Yeah, you got okay. it. And you're gonna keep backing you. all the way up till you feel the chair behind that other leg, okay? You're doing great. You're doing awesome. Your arms will be nice and strong after Yeah, so I'm just, I never did have much upper body. Now reach back for the armrest so you know that it's there, you know where you're going. Breathe, don't hold your breath. Yes. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> that was probably the hardest thing that you're gonna have to do today. High five. High five yeah. all the way around. All right, now you got some homework throughout the day here. Okay. It's going to be to move both ankles up and down. Yeah, I can do it. Get that circulation like lift on. them? Um, no, no just lifting, wiggle. just up, yep, back and forth. I've okay. Been doing that, yeah. That's your rheostat exercises. Yeah, I'm a dentist. This is my rheostat foot. Yeah. Uh, there you go. All right, guys, so it is lunchtime. Lise got her favorite today. Mmm. Meatballs. Is that ziti? Awesome. Like ziti and meatballs. Yeah, like a ziti noodle. She just loves the marinara sauce and those mm -hmm. meatballs. It's Italian. really good. She got her broccoli. You know, have to have a little bit of healthy, healthy fresh, additives fresh there. Fruit. Some fresh fruit. Yeah, she's been eating some fruit. Got her Coca Cola, and I got a tray. Got a salad, roast beef, mashed potatoes, gravy, and broccoli. How old are you today? 
86. 86. Don't look it. It's a good one. There's Nick. You just turned 28. 28. It's the new 18. There's Uncle Doc over there. We won't ask how old. All right, guys. So this is the damage. It's 11 screws, and the plate runs right here along the side of the bone there. So that's what it looks like. She's healing well. She's doing great today. So we're gonna keep going with it. <laughs> Hospital room party. Mother's Day. This is what you do when you break your leg. <laughs> yeah, we went around and discussed ages and birthdays. Hey, happy Mother's Day! Wave to the camera. <laughs> what is going on, adventures? Today is day four of Lisa's hospital <laughs> slash surgery adventure. Mm. And what do you have there? Well, they stomped some special prune juice down there for me. <laughs> Four days when they ran out, so she went down. All those medications will wreak havoc on your mm. uh, digestive system. Today. Anyway, I also have French Yeah, let's fish. see what we got here for breakfast. Bacon, coffee, uh, this is an oatmeal, mm, brown, yeah. brown sugar. Fresh that was sugar. actually good. I had some yesterday. It was awesome. Fresh fruit. And the fruit here always looks very good and fresh. I might have to get some with lunch. I don't know what this is. Juice. Yep. Oh, cranberry juice. All right. Here. She's got her coffee and a nice little oh, slice of orange enough. there. Breakfast buffet. Yeah. I also have been ordering some meals. Last night I was lucky though. I did get to go out um, to dinner with mom and my brother and his girlfriend and um, their son and have a nice Mother's Day dinner. We were so sad Lise couldn't join us, but she had a delicious dinner here. She had her turkey and mashed potatoes here, so... Um, I had lunch here yesterday, that was very good. And I have breakfast in front of me right now. And I am gonna probably be ordering lunch and dinner here today because you can't beat $5. Like it's seriously only $5 for them to bring me a meal. So, I mean, really, you can't beat it. Like I I bought some hamburgers for well, myself and Lisa last night at McDonald's, the hamburgers and french fries. And it was like, I wanna say it was over $15. I don't what? know. Yeah, it was crazy. So I'm like, hey, go on. Mm. For this, full meal that you get here like this is like a balanced nutritional meal and it tastes pretty good like we we've been equating it to maybe um a higher-end diner kind of food so you know i mean it's definitely not your five-star cuisine that we're used to but it does the trick <laughs> oh sorry it's really early you guys and i i don't know i kept waking up last night so if i don't sleep straight through I have issues, like I get really grumpy, so. so. There's this vent right above where I'm sleeping, and this thing is like, cold air just like blowing right on you. But I do have a nice window spot. I'm gonna open the windows for Lisa in a little bit. And here's my bed. Here's the laptop, been working on some editing. I'm getting an awesome resort video together. Hopefully that'll be released either tonight or tomorrow. So, got that going on. Really excited, it's gonna be great. Here is my breakfast. I got the pancakes and bacon, some Rice Krispies, some delicious pear, oh, I don't know how delicious they are, but they look good. And I got a Coke because, you know, that's the drink of champions for breakfast. And some cranberry juice. I do love the cranberry juice. It's the cranberry juice cocktail. That's my fave. Although Ocean Spray is probably a little better, but this isn't bad. I liked it. All right, so one more thing before we talk to you guys later. She is. To your health and regularity. <laughs> is the humiliation real? Yes. Say it. The humiliation is real. Around these parts. Around these parts. <laughs> Alright, enjoy your breakfast, love. It was fun. Yeah. Looks okay. great. Alright, guys, so we just got our lunch. And they had a delicious chicken marsala today. With jasmine rice and Brussels sprouts. Lisa opted to get broccoli instead of the Brussels sprouts. We both got some Cokes. Lisa got some chicken noodle soup over there and coffee. Uh, raspberry, what is that, yogurt for dessert? I like how they even put the little parsley sprigs on there so you feel like you're 
and a fine dining establishment. Mm -hmm. Little touches. It's the little things, you know, it really is. It's pretty good. It's a mushroom gravy. It's curd. You know, we should probably do a <laughs> a comparison of hospital and nursing home food. Mm. I think. Nice <laughs> Wouldn't be interesting though. Boom. There it I'm is. I'm surprised there's not more swollen on this one. It is. I'm surprised there's not more bruising because you bruise so easily. I mean, it's tight here. You can feel. Oh. All right, so this is our dinner tonight. I got the braised brisket with potatoes and a roll and some spinach and mushrooms, carrot cake, salad, pudding, and a Coca-Cola. Lise got the, is it, what is it, stuffed shells? Oh, yeah. Some stuffed shells, spinach and mushrooms, a nice dinner roll. These dinner rolls are really good and fresh. Mm -hmm. um, and a salad and some raspberry mm -hmm. yogurt. Ice cream. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. the... Look who came by to visit. Mm -hmm. Mama's been visiting and helping a lot. It's, uh, May 14th. All right, guys, it's May 14th, day five, and Lise had to have a iron infusion today because she had a low red blood cell count. This is also a new development. This is a hematoma in her groin region. Pretty nasty. Waiting on word from the doctor about what they're gonna do. How are you feeling today? Mm, it's hard. My leg hurts. I'm on pain medicines every four to six hours just to and you just be took, able to lay down. You just took a just took a medication pill. I had physical therapy, but then my legs start cramping up really bad, so <sighs> it's pretty tough. And they were giving her morphine, but it just wasn't lasting long no. enough, so they had to go to the uh, oxy. The morphine is only lasting maybe an hour because it's an IV, but the oxycodone is in the tablets. Today is day six. Tomorrow's Friday, seventh day. On the second, on the seventh day, she'll rise again. <laughs> just <Maybe>. kidding. <laughs> okay, so. Tell me what you have there. This is highly recommended. Grilled cheese, which I know for a fact is not easy to get made somewhere as good as I like. It's very... Let's get a close-up of that. Ooh, that looks yummy. Mmm. Oh, look at her. She's really enjoying her... Mm. Well, it could be the morphine. It could be. It could be the morphine. <laughs> Ginger ale. To your lunch. Cheers. And I got a cheeseburger. Their cheeseburgers are actually really good. Let me see here. Look at that yummy, that melty cheese. This is better than McDonald's and Burger King put mm -hmm. together. I got some broccoli, and I got Lisa's favorite too here. Lisa, this surprised you. Got Lisa's favorite here. It's me is too for me. Yeah, I hear that thing. It's your favorite. Yeah. It goes really well in tomato soup. Gross. I'm going to put it in your grilled Get cheese. Get out of here. It's terrible. <laughs> They're real though. They still have the stems on them. Mm, mm. They do. I should go outside and eat some. The These mashed potatoes and gravy are divine. I've been getting mashed potatoes and gravy like every day. Um, got a little side salad. And the carrot cake is really good too. So I got some carrot cake. Of course my broccoli there. And some Coca-Cola. So, we're going to have our lunch, and we'll see you guys a little bit later. So, I'm going on my third tour of duty to the ultrasound. Yeah. I want to check for a blood clot because there's, apparently the last night's report was inconclusive as to whether I have a blood clot. It's a probable. But the doctor said that he doesn't want to give her blood thinners, which she's actually already on for probable. Mm -hmm. So probable. We, we can't do probably. We're going to have to double check it and yes see what's going no on. Question. Yeah, that's not a maybe. So 
We will let you guys know as things progress what happens with that. Mm -hmm. See you a little bit. We get you in it, isn't it? Does that give me permission to go faster? Yeah. Oh, See how fast this thing rolls. <laughs> Right, she must have been a call. Hey, here's my Uber driver. See, I got so distracted. <laughs> so distracted right there. Oh, this is, uh... Think negative. Oh. Well, yesterday apparently they got a probably. And my surgeon says, I don't, I don't do probably. <laughs> yes or no? Sleep it all day. Yes. And uh, every time I fell asleep, I think somebody came in there to <laughs> check something. It's cool. My favorite nurses, really. <laughs> Do you want me to? Oh, good. Oh, okay. Here you go. Always in time for dinner. <laughs> got your grilled chicken. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Here you go. What do we have here? Uh, here we have. Can I help you? Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. That's. I don't need anything unless I push the button. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't even know where the button is. Do you see the button? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. Here it is. Maybe oh. it sat on it. Is that thing off? And here we go. What do we have here? This appears to be chicken. Oh my, they have a lot of wine in here. Chicken, mashed potatoes. Uh, this is called tricolor cauliflower. Oh, tricolor cauliflower. Is this purple? It is. Isn't that pretty? I've never seen that. It's rare. You don't see it too often. Broccoli. Usually in the more upscale restaurants, they serve you the tricolor cauliflower. Pretty. Good morning. Good morning. Today is day six. And we have for breakfast. <gasps> French toast, hash browns, and sausage. What's going on guys? It is 10 minutes till 11 on uh, Friday, May 17th, one week from the incident. Um, let me show you where I've been staying. This has been my bed for the last seven nights. And this is my last night here. So I just wanted to show you guys. It's a, It's basically a little sofa and it has a little pad that folds down on top, so it wasn't super uncomfortable. Um, it was nice, it was decent, it could have been a lot worse. So I'm thankful that they had that, at least I could stay here with Lise while she was recuperating, well, is recuperating. And they did have a nice seagull picture on the wall there at the beach. Several seagulls in there, it's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of our, our trip to Rehoboth recently. So Lisa's over here. How are you feeling about going home tomorrow? Good. Me too. It's time. It is definitely time. 
but we still have a long road ahead of us and recovery is not going to be comfortable. It's going to be very painful in fact. We're wishing it was overnight. Yeah, we were wishing it was, you know, like she would just wake up and it would be over, but. Hey guys, so today is the day we are leaving the hospital. Uh, it is Saturday, I think the 18th, May 18th. So it looks like it's been a whole week, <laughs> um, a real week. And my leg is slowly on the mend. I finally just helped me get some real clothes on. Got some black and blue going on here. Still have your IV Stitches going on here. IV going on here. I can't wait to get that out of my hand. Ew. <laughs> it's been uh, changed about I four. IVs in here? I think they moved this around at least four times. No, it's probably six. Six times, Jen said. I'm losing track. You were just out of it. Ready to take her home today. We're getting a special ride in a van that takes a wheelchair to her house. So they arranged for us to get from here to home. The most comfortable way, <laughs> hopefully. So we're looking forward to that. I installed the ramp yesterday, last night. Jen has become a new, has a new career as a temporary handicap ramp installer, which we'll show you later. That's going to be exciting to see. So that's at the house. Hopefully she tried it out so it'll be safe for I somebody. I walked on it. And Nick walked on it. Yeah. My and son Mom walked on it. Okay. She's had several people walk on it. <laughs> Alright. So next is breakfast. And then we are out. So this is uh, transport. Getting from the hospital home in the wheelchair. It's super comfortable. This is the way to go if you gotta go in a wheelchair. You definitely can't beat this, I'll tell you. I was like, how am I gonna get in the car? You know, in the car, out of the car. This is awesome. Did you start therapy already? What's that? Did you start therapy for your leg already? Uh, yeah, in the hospital. Then they're gonna actually come to the house. Okay. It got me up as far as uh, walking with a walker. Yeah. How long have you been down? So I broke it Saturday, actually one week Saturday, last Saturday. Just That's some good progress in a week. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they push you. <laughs> All I can say is thank goodness for pain meds. I'm not a pain med person, but something like that, you gotta have it. Yeah. Good morning. Alright guys, so this is Lisa's first full day at home. Last night was a bit of a rough night. But, hopefully every day will be progressively better. So we're going to see. Tell them what's going on right now. What's happening? Well, I have a home care um, physical therapy uh, company coming. Uh, so instead of me having to go to a rehab, they come to the house, come to me. Is it okay till your prescription pain <laughs> medicine starts wearing off? And then it's not, then it's not a happy moment. What do you have there in your hand? So Jen made me a hot oatmeal breakfast here, which is very good. In a Disney mug. Don't be Disney. Oh boy. It cheers you up. I've never had a broken bone. That's the other problem. I have no idea how long it takes for the pain and healing to uh, kick in. So it's a learning curve. Something I really didn't want to have to learn at this point in my life, but. Other people have said it just it takes a while and it'll get better. So we'll just go with that. Yeah, that's good advice. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep you guys updated as things progress and let you know what's going on. What's up, guys? It is now 11 days post Lisa's surgery. And I'm going to let her tell you what's happening. So we have these staples um, that were put in. But they're starting to get really irritated and achy. You know they're getting embedded in here. These are the worst, like getting infected, I think, in the middle. That's when it hurts. Ow! Because it starts pulling it up. Hey, right.
Mm. See, it pulls it halfway out and doesn't cut it. Piece of sh. There you go. Now you can just pull it out. Yeah, once you get past that pain threshold. What's going on, adventurers? We got Lisa out for the first time since surgery, you guys, and we're gonna go get some Mickey D's. We're heading for the orthopedic surgeon follow-up visit. Oh boy. Jen, my super misery, I mean, my nurse. Wow. <laughs> oh, extracted 32 staples from the incision area because we wanted to get that done before we got to the doctor because it can be very painful there. And we have some special um, instruments that work for that. And numbing spray. And numbing spray. So. Thank you, Amazon, for that numbing spray. That felt a lot better. It still hurt, but I think it, it would have hurt a lot more if I waited till today. Plus, it looked the score looks so much better. It was very gentle. It's not red and swollen, and I react to any metals like nickel or. Uh, so. Down, can I help you? Yes, can I have two number ones, please, with Coke? Mickey This is her first McDonald's <laughs> um, egg McMuffin in two weeks. Mm. How do you feel? I forgot about them. <laughs> Don't forget about Mickey mm. D's. Oh, nothing like a Coke in the morning with your breakfast sandwich. It'll bring you back. Ugh. Mm. Poor leg. Cool though. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh. 